Uh, I've never I've never had a job as a writer. Uh, when I was in film school, that was my focus was screenwriting. But I, I'm the worst human being in the history of of making connections. And um, like people always say, you got to ask for stuff. But it feels it makes me feel like a fraud. So I'm I'm like trying to get over the the self uh, destruction of being like if they want me, they'll ask me. And that's the only way it's going to happen. Um, so uh, I would love to get a job writing for a show. I'd love to act more, all that stuff. I just, um, I'm really just coming to terms with my own resistance of, of, uh, you know, having to ask for help, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. so that sounds like, like, uh, sabotaging yourself from success. Yeah. I mean, essentially that's what it is, but, I don't know. I just, it's not even to me. I, I just want to be genuine, I guess. And so mm -hmm. that's what it always feels like. I don't want people thinking I'm just trying to use them for, uh, you know, a job or whatever it is. But mm -hmm. the reality is I, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't feel that way. It's just inside my head. So I would think so, because I mean, it's like I said, when I introduced you that one night, I, I mean, you're one of the most talented People I know that that be, but you're not conventionally attractive, so people <laughs> don't know you. <laughs> it's the best intro ever. And and I and the point being, uh, besides the insult, is that there's no reason, there's nothing like there's no skill set, there's nothing that you lack that should be stopping you from getting this job you people enjoy being around you people like working with you people enjoy your work and it's um it's good and i think people you're a mind that if anybody had like a sketch show or a, um late night show or so like that like you you're going to bring a different perspective that's going to be um very real and i think very much something that people around the country would relate to because you have such of a background that's the meld of things being from you know kansas being a liberal in kansas being all the things that you are it kind of in, in some way gives you probably perspective to everything right like yeah so i think that's something that that's quite valuable that people could use and I, I know i mean i don't have i mean if i could ever help you in anything one day hopefully i can but if not either way i know sometimes we don't have the biggest listenership but we got some good listeners and if you're one of these listeners who listen to this podcast that work in entertainment look up rick give him a job help him out he's got a family that's right <laughs> Do you want my children to starve? This is <laughs> no one wants his children to starve That's or right. be possibly kidnapped by, you know, subpar child care. It happens <laughs> more often than you think. <laughs> <laughs>